Do you want to learn how to make this vintage magazine kind of watermark? So those green screen kids who get twice as much views as you would quit stealing your videos? Once you're in After Effects, make sure you've completely finished your edit. Since adding the watermark is supposed to be the last step of making an edit. Go ahead and open up Chrome or Bing for you particular psychopaths out there. And go on this website, Ransomizer.com, which I'll also put in the description for you to get easily. You should be welcome to a website like this. Go ahead and type in your username or whatever you want the watermark to say right here. And if you mess around with the capitalization as I did, then you'll get some sort of cool uppercase and lowercase text. Now go here under colors and select the color theme you like. And if you think all of them are absolute dog water, then I have good news because there's this little custom option where you can put in any color scheme you want. Next from here, you can scroll down to see all the other options and mess around with them to your liking. I won't cover all of them because there's way too much. This video will be like 15 minutes long. Once you're happy with all the settings, go back up here and click the ransomize button. And this magazine-ish text should pop up. If you don't like it, then go back down and change some settings a bit more. Or just click on the ransomize button again. I just changed the color scheme because I didn't like it. Once you're happy on the text, click on downloadable image for your ransomize note. Go ahead and left click on the image and download it. Look, I'm sorry for pausing the tutorial, but look at those analytics. 96% non-subscribe is crazy. So please, if you're this far into the video and would like to see more in the near future, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. It's free and what is there to lose? While you think about it, I'll go ahead and continue the video. Now that we have the text, next step is to import it into After Effects. What you do, you'll notice this little watermark. So to get rid of it, click on this mesh tool and select the outline of the text, only to get rid of that little watermark. From here, go ahead and pre-compose it by clicking Control shift d and then go to the Effects and Presets panel and search up Deep Glow and apply it to your clip. If you don't have this plugin, then join my Discord server and ask in the editing help channel. Either I'll get back to you or someone else will. From here, go ahead and check this. Go ahead and mess around with the exposure and the radius settings. Or you can just copy me. I don't really fucking care. Once you're happy with it, go back to the Effects and Presets, search up Drop Shadow and drop it to your and copy the settings I make. Then go ahead and duplicate the effect by selecting it and clicking Ctrl D and change the softness to somewhat around 250. Search up Turbulent Displace and apply it to your clip. Change the amount to 25 and the size to 30. Next, go underneath Evolution Options and then while holding the Alt button, click on Random Seed. This little thing will pop up and I want you to type in Time Star Fly. Once you're done, click away and preview your edit. The turbulent displays didn't look too strong, just like mine did. Then go ahead and mess around with the amount and size a little bit. Make it stronger. Once you're happy with it, click on this toggle thingy down here to view the blending modes and change the watermark blending mode to overlay. And lastly, go ahead and make it a bit more smaller. Put it wherever you like your watermark to be. And poof, just like that, you, my friend, made this new, sweet, and not so overused watermark easily. If you would like to learn how to make this reflective watermark too, so you can have more knowledge on how to make beautiful watermarks. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.